and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today I'm gonna to be trying on some new makeup that I got from my ipsy icon box and yeah so I have got this new palette from Il Maquillage it is the color boss master palette a multi-dimensional eye colors it looks like this it's got four mattes and four shimmers and i didn't think it had shade names but it does here on the back and then i have this iconic london lip and cheek cream trio and we've got some really cute cream blush and you know i love a cream blush we have a cream highlighter from tarte this is their Maracuja Juicy Glow, looking like that. We are going to try this Natasha Alloy Cheek Duo. We're just gonna try the bronzer out of that. And that also has a highlight in it. We are going to try this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. It is a mascara duo with a volume on one side and curling length on the other side and i also with my points got this shades by shan the gel eyeliner that i'm gonna try out okay so we're gonna try out all that stuff today i think we have the makings for a nice latte makeup look i think so we're going to do that if you're interested and checking out these new makeup products, seeing what I think of them, seeing if I can make a nice look with them, then stay tuned because I'm getting right in. Okay, we're gonna start off with the eyes. I'm going to use these three mattes right here. They're called Keep Rolling, Keep, keep Rolling, Say What, and End Game right here. And then I think I'm going to use these, these three right here called Sorry Not Sorry, Lush Life, and A Scandal. And I think I'm going to use this as an inner corner and then these two on my lid. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I might use this as an inner corner right here. This one called carry on i think i got these names right i think that's how they are in the pan so i'm going to take this first one and just put it above my crease here and let's just make a nice eye look okay i've got a story as i've been going more out into the world I went, I've been driving more. I've been driving my dad's car more. I don't have my car fixed yet, yet, but I was driving my dad's car and I went to the Tom Thumb Pharmacy to go get my meds for the month. And I thought, well, all I have to do is, they're all ready, they're already ready. All I have to do is go and pick them up so I'll just go through the drive through easy peasy no problem I'll just pick them up I'll go I won't be any hassle to the people behind me in the line because I've been in that line before where I get behind somebody and they take forever and I never know what exactly is taking forever and why, if they knew it was going to take forever, why didn't they go inside and do it instead of going through the drive through line? Well, the, that day, that person was me. And I didn't know it was going to be me. And there's nobody in front of me. I pull up. The lady comes up to me, asks me my birthday, I give it to her, 
and I have a lot of mats. Okay. I'm not going to say how many or anything like that, but. Okay, I'm going into this next shade, into my crease. And she brings all my bottles out and brings them up and looks at me. And I'm looking at her and she looks me dead in the eye and tells me that all my medications are going to cost over $1,000. Excuse me, I'm just staring at her, like, no, that can't be right. And she says, okay. I said, why isn't my insurance paying for these? I'm still on my husband's insurance. We are separated, but I'm still on his insurance. Until we are actually divorced. what is going on she's like your insurance is not paying for these i'm like is it too soon for me to pick up these because sometimes the insurance won't pay if it's too early you know in the month for me to pick them up that's not the problem we found out the insurance just is not paying for them i'm trying to call my husband i'm trying to text him but it's going straight to voicemail and he's not texting me back so she says well I've got these coupons here which I'm guessing she meant what we have around here is good rx which is a card you can use if you don't have insurance that can help you pay your pharmacy for your pharmacy meds and she said we can use this she never said the name but i'm guessing she used good rx and see if we can get your meds down your prices down so she's doing that and it takes her i'm not blaming her but it takes her a while to do this all the while, two cars are piling up behind me. I, I get anxious easily. And I just want to get out of there at this point. I'm jumping out of my skin. I just want to go. But I need my meds. But I'm, I can't, I can't go anywhere. I feel like I'm trapped there. I'm afraid I'm going to start having a panic attack. Okay, I'm going into this darkest color. Thank heavens she gets the price down to what I normally pay for my meds. Because I need to have these meds. I cannot function right without these meds. They are for anxiety, they are for depression, so I'm able to pay for them. But then, <laughs> this poor woman, I have so many meds, it takes her forever to get them. She has to, I don't know why, but she has to put new labels on this medicine. On every, on every bottle. She has to re-ring it up. She has to put the little cards, the, the, the info sheets, attach them to this bag. Nobody behind, everybody behind me is fine. Nobody's honking or getting mad or anything like that. Everybody's being patient, but I'm just, I'm just one of those people. I'm impatient. But I remain calm. I don't say anything to her. But on the inside, I'm just like, please hurry up. Please hurry up. I just want to go home. And then she, she's really nice. She's really nice about everything. And she got my 
and she got the prices down for me so I really appreciated her and I told her all of this but as she's sending my medicine through the little box she tries to trap my hand in it <laughs> anyway so I get I got my meds and I call my husband. Wow, this is looking really nice. And I say, what happened? And it turns out he started a new job without telling me. And let the insurance run out without telling me. We should have new insurance by the beginning of next month. Okay, I think it is turning out to be a nice look. Let's put some shimmers on. I'm going into this darker color first. I'm gonna spray it and put it on the outside part of my lid. These are nice, very subtle shimmers. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take that next to the not the lightest but the next to the lightest shade and put that on the inner part of my lid and that's a nice color too i've been liking doing this two-toned look with the shimmers on my lids lately although that would have been nice if I had done this darker one all over my lid and then put the lighter one in the center. I should have done that. Oh well. Maybe next time. Okay, we've got that done. Now I'm going to use that Shades by Shan, Shades by Sean. I don't know really how to say it, but it's just an eyeliner, just a gel eyeliner that I got with my points at Ipsy. And I'm just going to lay a nice line on my upper lid. And then I'm going to clean up my look. Okay, looking good, I think. Let's try this Huda Beauty thing. Let's try the volume aside. For, okay, I keep thinking this is going to come out with the wand but it's this side that comes out with the wand that was the same problem i had with the mini version i had so let's try this volume side first that's what i'm interested in most is volume and let's see if this really provides volume i wasn't that impressed with the mini version but sometimes the minis and the full size versions really do operate differently Sometimes the mini versions are better than the full-time, full-size versions, and sometimes the full-size versions are better. That, did I say that right? One is usually better than the other. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. Okay, then let's try the length and curl. Sometimes when it says curl like with that roller lash and i everybody kept saying oh it's gonna curl your lashes it's gonna curl. it made mine straight and i don't usually have a problem with my lashes being straight i did not like that benefit roller lash at all nor did i like the elf dupe of it okay I am impressed. Let me put a little bit more of this volume on this eye. I like this. I really do. I think, and that's pretty good for just coming right out of the tube. Sometimes it takes it a couple of weeks before it starts looking really good. I am impressed. What do you think? Okay, for foundation, I'm just going to use my Tower 28 Sunny Days uh, 
broad spectrum SPF 30 tinted sunscreen in the shade La Cien La Cien La Cienega. I don't even know what that means. But I repurchased this in a different shade. I ran out of my original one. So I repurchased this. What am I doing? I need to put on, I always forget to put on my e.l.f. Putty corrector under my eyes. And then I sit here with tint, skin tint or moist or um, foundation on my hand, running down my hand while I'm doing this. Ugh. You'd think I'd be used to this by now. I've been doing it for weeks now. But no, I keep forgetting. So let me know, have you all tried this latte look that everyone's talking about now? I did a, a reel for Instagram where I tried it out. But I can't for the life of me remember what I used to make the look. Okay, now we can start putting on the foundation. This is, this is not a new foundation. This is just a new color, a new shade of the foundation. This matches my skin better, my skin tone better. It's still a very warm color. I don't, this is supposed to be a, a light neutral, but some, Some foundations just don't know what neutral really is. Okay, now we've got the foundation or the tinted moisturizer down. Let's try some of this blush because this is powder. And we'll do that after I put on my Kosas powder. So let's do Let's do this color right here. Does it say, well, no, it doesn't have a shade name. This is a little too red, and this is a little too pink. Well, let me swatch this color here. And this color. Hmm, what color do I really want? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one here. And I'm just gonna take it on my brush. I don't care if I get it too. Maybe I'll combine the two. Maybe that's what I'll do. Cause I'll be putting powder over it. So if it's a little too saturated it's okay i know with the latte look you're probably not supposed to put blush on but i don't care i want to test this out mm, those two colors together look really nice okay i'm gonna put my Kosas powder on and then we will come back I'm going to try this cream highlight over the powder and see how that works. Okay, I am going to put my powder on. I will be right back. Okay, that blush looks nice and subtle underneath the powder. So that's nice. I like that. And let's go ahead and try out this Natasha Denona bronzer. Now I'm going to have to go really light with this. So... But I still want that nice and bronzed look. Okay, do I look nice and bronzed? Um, is this? Okay, I think that will do it. Um, yeah. I thought that bronzer was going to be really deep, but I think it turned out really good. Okay, I'm going to take this highlighter and put 
put it right here. This isn't a really glowy highlighter. I'm going to take my highlighter brush and just spread it around. Oh, it's nice though. Can I use my finger too? I don't know if you can see it or not. Like it's really subtle. And it's not picking up anything underneath, so that is good. I'm going to dot, 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 dot it on my nose and use my brush like that. Put a little bit over my lip and in my chin area. I do really like that. It's nice and subtle. Something that I can wear when I want to go out and I really don't want to blind people, <laughs> so to say. So, that is really nice. I like that. I like when things work out. Okay, let's work on the lower lash line. Let's start out by putting this second to lighter shade underneath the, well, in the lower lash line. Okay, I'm just buffing this out as well. Okay, sometimes when I do that, my eyes get red because I get, hmm, the hairs get in my eyes. Okay, I'm going to outline my lower lash line with the third color in there like that and then I'm going to take the deepest color and just come down a third of the way I know I'm always changing up how I'm doing my lower lash line but this is how I'm doing it now a days and then I'm going to buff that out some and then I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, I just used that um, Huda lashes on under my eyes. I kind of wish I had just stuck to using my Benefit lashes. Okay, um, the um, Bad Gal Bang, because that's what I really like using on my under eyes. Okay, I'm going to take this lightest shade and use it as my inner corner, the um, the matte shade. I'm gonna use the matte shade. And then for lips, I, I don't know, I was thinking about using uh, something from here. Should I do that? Uh, let's find, uh, where is a good lip brush? Where's a good lip brush? No, not here. Okay, let's try you. Okay, let's try this lighter color here. No, not that one. Let's try the darker color. Okay, and here is the final look. With the lips, I ended up mixing those two colors. Feels really nice on the lips too. And then on top of that, I ended up putting my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline, just to make it a little more brown for the theme of the latte look. So this is the look. I like everything. I like the Il Maquillage, the Color Boss Master Palette. The only thing is, I can make this look with a lot of my palettes, but... You know, it's nice to have another neutral palette in the collection. I really like this bronzer. I am very interested in trying out this highlighter as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I should have used that in my inner corner. You know what? Let's, let's put that in the inner corner as well on top of that. 
and matte. Oh yes, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Really, that's nice having a matte and then a shimmer on top. So we did that. I like that. Really, really like this highlighter as well. It's nice to have a cream highlighter that I actually like. That's nice. Okay. I have nothing bad to say about the eyeliner. This is definitely a winner. I love me some cream blush. It's hard for me to come across a blush that I don't like, but this, I love these colors. I don't, especially these two colors, I don't really have in my arsenal. So it's nice to have those. And I love this big, I love this pan. I don't know why. And then I really like this mascara is so far. Ask, ask me in a few weeks how it's doing how I'm liking it and we shall see and I, I just really like the look all together let me tell me what you think down in the comments below and yeah let me know if you got any of these products in your ipsy icon box or if you bought any of these in the ipsy store anything like that I would love to know your opinions on things and yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you feel so inclined, but no pressure to do any of that. Just you watching to this point in the video really, really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. Whether you are a subscriber, a casual viewer, or this is your very first time watching, thank you for picking this video to watch. If you like what you see, then I would really love it if you would consider subscribing hitting that notification bell setting it to all so that you're notified every time that i upload a new video so i hope y'all are all having a wonderful amazing day today if you're having an especially hard time know that i'm thinking about you and sending you all of those good vibes just remember to stay strong stay healthy and stay safe out there and i will see you in another video soon just stay well until then okay Hey, all right, good night.